Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is a super special day. 21 years ago today, I gave birth to one of my biggest achievements. I gave birth to this beautiful boy who's spending the morning cuddled up in his bed. Isn't he cute, all white and flirt, furry and fluffy? Happy birthday, Nick. Thanks. Most 21 year olds are not impressed when their mom bursts into their bedroom after they've had their shower and says happy birthday to them. Good morning, guys. Good morning guys! Guys, doesn't look like she's sitting pretty, but she's actually doing it, just standing, because she can't do it. Sit! Sit! Up! Good girl! Up. I don't know if that's like an actual trick or not, but it's impressive anyway. That's a trick! Um, we have been super busy all morning getting cleaned up because not only is it Nick's 21st birthday today, but in 12 days, my middle son Kyle um, is turning 27. And one week after that, my daughter-in-law is having a birthday. So every year we hit, we kill three birds with one stone and we just have a big, awesome birthday party for all three of them. They come over, we have a super yummy pizza party and we have ice cream cake because all my boys love ice cream cake. Most of my boys love ice cream cake. When you're watching this uh, video up on my channel, it's um, an SSO video buying horses. I don't know anything about SSO videos, but I edited it for her and literally I was so excited editing it because she was so enthusiastic and so excitable and so happy and she's usually more calm and it was a really cute video. So that will be up later, um, that'll already be up while you're watching this. I just have to add a little bit of music and it's done. I have a new video up on my channel and it's so cute. It's all about my bunny and how he was sick and we fixed him. So go watch it. All right, Gabby's gonna toll. This is a new one of the new horses is... that she bought, Icelandic. Yeah. And you love this horse? Yeah. Look at he's tolting. He's tolting, you guys. I've always wanted him. Yay! Little gray squirrel is starving out there. Look at him. Had to give him some food. So I put the food up there, but she's eating all the stuff on the ground first. Must have spilled them on the ground. There she goes. She's going up to eat it. Going up to eat now. There you go. Eat your supper. Anyways, I'm home from work early because it's freezing in my office. Oh, okay. And I said, Mr. Scrooge, this is Bob Cratchit. Can I have some more coal in my fire? And they said, go home. So I said, all right, that's even better. So I'm home and then I came home and saw that poor little squirrel looking for food. So I usually give it food all the time, but you know what, I haven't done it in a while. So, but now he's all set. We're gonna do a competition between- I don't know how she's looking at me, but I don't know if she likes <laughs> Jessie. Me Does she still like me? And a Nick. Yes, of course she still likes you. She's like looking at me like she wants to. She's like, I know I get treats in this place. Is this a dude that gives me treats? Oh, she's gonna eat you. <laughs> she does just her look. She's got a mama look. All right, let's tack up. Let's tack up. First, we gotta get the the blankets off. All right, let's get going, Jesse. I'm cold. Oh my gosh, do you want mitts? I have mitts. Okay. She's cold. Her feet will freeze. And Gabby, hurry up, get that blanket off. Yeah, the horse is covered in snow. That horse is. Well, like, covered in snow. What's going on? They stay outside. All he stays outside twenty four seven. What? Yeah, it's better for them. Does our horse stay outside twenty four seven? No, she goes in. She's a spoiled girl. Good. They like it outside better. I don't know how to brush a horse. Man. Round and round and round you go. Round and round and round you go. That gets all the dirt out. And so they're gonna tack each tack up their own horse. And we're not going to help them, and we're going to see who finishes first and who gets the most things right. Sabrina's a lot. I don't know how to tack a horse. What do you mean the most things right? Well, you're just going to figure it out. You're going to have all the things yeah, you need. Also, her style is easier to put on. Yeah, it's, it's not as heavy. All right, are we ready? Everything you need to tack up your horse is on the wall. Okay, what's this thing for? That's, a, that's the cinch. To, that's to attach it all to her belly. 
And we're not putting the brown. No. I don't know what this means. Okay, just do what you can do. Just figure it all out. Come on, Jesse, get going. Don't be scared. Come on, it's a race. Come on, just keep going. Just put it anyway, we're gonna fix it. Nick is in the lead because he's feeling confident. <laughs> Jesse's got the muscles. Now Jesse's in the lead. <laughs> Jesse's not cheating. All right. Else you have to do too. I feel like Gabby's helping. No. I had to tell her that you have to put the elastic side there because I don't want to fix much. Yeah, you got it. Sabrina's like really, really Nick. I'm done. Are you all done? No, you gotta put the cinch on. I don't know what I mean. Uh, you gotta figure out where it goes. This attaches the saddle to her. And look at the saddle. Go stand on the other side. Does it look like it's evenly on her back? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna fix it. So go ahead, put your cinch on really quick and then be done. Yeah, she does. She has a... Uh, she has what you call a uh, girth. You have a cinch and she has a girth. Just figure it out. Just put it on. Reach it like this. Jessie's like, reach where? She's terrified of reaching it. I stick my whole head under him. Good boy. Does it reach? You have to stretch it. <laughs> nope. Let's see what hole did you put it on? Oh, this might be a problem. <laughs> Two and three. So that's okay. <laughs> it's hard. Here, I'm gonna loosen down a hole. Okay. That's easier. Okay, throw your hands up and say, done! Oh, no. <laughs> Nick's done first. Yeah. Sorry, Sabrina. Yeah, that looks kind of crazy. All right, so here we got a cinch that's not really done up, a saddle, that is not pulled forward. All right, so you did an awesome job for your first time. All right, so Jessie probably did a better job, but she was slower and she got a lot of help. Yeah, so cheating. Get, she didn't get a lot of help. She just got a little. All right, so I say Nick for the win, just because I he did it himself. Because Nick is. Last All right, you guys, comment below who won. Jesse did a better job, but Nick got done first and Jesse had help. Nick is gonna show you how to do it. Nick's not gonna wear a helmet today. We don't agree with not wearing a helmet, but Nick has decided he's 21 and not gonna wear a helmet in the arena and go slow. And he's falling off the stool without a helmet on. All right, Nick, take two of riding our horse. <laughs> <laughs> Here, watch your hands. Fire. <laughs> yeah, you can actually just get on a horse, but he refuses to get on the right way, so he just stands. Mom, I know what horses love to be on. There we go. She's like, oh my goodness, what is that? Wait, get I mixed up on the horse. I forget how to do this. Put your feet in the stirrups. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> You're riding stirrupless. Basically means you got no way to hold on. And remember, she spooks down there a little, so just go slow. Look at Nick, looking like a pro. And Gabby's still taking forever. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off with being sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire. Okay, so you put one foot in the stirrup. Okay, watch you guys, this is gonna be the best part. One foot in the stirrup, and you put your foot over, and when you get halfway, you take your foot out of this stirrup, and then you jump down. No, okay. <laughs> Good job. Oh, look who 
who's here. He's a pain in the butt to get. Oh, did he bite you? No. Oh. It was just scratch because he's scared. What do you see, Brooklyn? Bunny. Do you like our bunnies? Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Jacob, he's like, look at the bunnies. <laughs> Gabby is chubby. Oh, yeah. so no, this Gabby is mine. Hey, show, show everybody what Santa brought you. What's in your hand? A fingerling that talks. A fingerling. Does he actually talk or does he just do? Ah, 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 ah. If if you if if you do this. Yeah. Stick your finger up his legs. It makes him annoying. This is my son, the, the dog whisperer. He's got four dogs all surrounding him. All right, so Ruby has just officially no, noticed she... the bunnies for the first time. Look at the bunnies. Look at it. She's like, hmm. Will they play with me? Because the little dogs won't play with me. Show her. Let her have a smell. She's already seen this one before. All the dogs in our house know that we're the boss, and they would never hurt something that oh, she's licking her lips. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Gabby trained her bunny to take food out of this her hand. Is this is Sophie's bunny. This bunny is a wild bunny. Bye, Daddy. Careful. This is a wild bunny. Like a week ago, it was a wild bunny, and now it's taking food out of their hand. This is Sophie That's amazing. He loves it. Probably because he couldn't eat before because of his teeth. Yeah. That's Sophie's. That's Sophie's bunny, cutie girl. What's a, what's a warm temperature? Happy birthday. Um, a warming temperature is like 200. So that is a lot of pizza. Yeah, but I think I'm going to make you going to have this pizza first because he's the birthday boy. He is the birthday boy. Whose so, birthday's next? Mine. Yes, your birthday. How old are you going to be? Five. Five. But, but, I have my birthday for Easter. Yeah. And then Gabby's birthday. So Brooklyn is making a salad. What kind of salad are you making? Tomato salad. It's called Greek salad. Greek salad. It's Nana's favorite. Doesn't it look so good? Mm -hmm. What are you making? A uh, bacon salad. It's called Caesar salad. Bacon. Okay. Don't eat all the bacon. Not bacon anymore. It's just yeah, just salad now. And poor Brooklyn was laying on the ground, and Jacob came and dropped this toy right on her face. And it hurt really bad, huh? And she had tears running down her face. And so Nana got her, put her straight to work, and she's been helping me make a salad. I'm taking her mind off the pain. Literally, this is the birth, best birthday dinner you could ever have. My middle son just came in with his wife, and they brought this Oreo cheesecake. Mm. Happy birthday to you, Kyle, Nick, and Kathleen. Day to you. Birthday, dear Nick, Kyle, and Kathleen. Happy birthday to you. It's almost nine o'clock, and all of my kids have just gone home. Wow, it was such a long party, you guys. You had so much fun. Every year I look forward to this birthday party because Christmas is such a busy time for us, and getting to actually spend time just alone with my kids and their wives and their kin, their own children is always super special. This is kind of like a really quiet, small party and I had so much fun. Anna Morse says that most saddle fitters have gullets they will try on your horse so you can tell the size and other tools. Most tech shops will let you try on saddles before you buy them and then you can um, let your saddle fitter fit it. And that's exactly the thing. That's exactly how it's supposed to happen and that would be amazing. But our issue is this. Our stores stock saddles that are standard size, so 16 inches. Almost everyone in our store is 16 inches. There are a couple 15, a couple 16.5, but I need a 17 or an 18 inch saddle. They don't stock that size because it's just a random size. Not very many people use them. So for our saddle fitter to bring a bunch of saddles out to size our horse and see which one fits better, um, isn't going to work because they don't carry that size saddle. And we found the same problem at the three stores we went to to figure out how to get a saddle. 
So the only choice that I have is to buy a saddle and because it has to be ordered, I'd have to pay for it. Then they'd have to bring it and the saddle fitter would have to bring it and try it and see if it fits. And if it doesn't fit, I have to take it back. And I, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a big, huge runaround, but that's the only way that they suggested to me that I do it. And I don't know how else I would do it. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Any other suggestions now that you know um, why I have to do it this way. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've enjoyed spending this Christmas um, season with you guys so much. I have enjoyed sharing all of the things going on at our barn. I know sometimes it makes us feel vulnerable because our barn is not set up in a really great way to deal with winter weather. And I think a lot of people that don't have the same problems and issues that we have really could fully understand um, what we're up against with this winter weather and not having enough power down at our barn and, ha um, and all the things that are set against us. But... I have loved sharing them with you and hearing your suggestions and hearing how um, the ways that you guys do it and it just means a lot to me that you guys have been there for us and I hope to have an exciting amazing new year coming up to share with all of you guys. See you tomorrow. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.